Hello and welcome to our online mini course for Brazilian Portuguese and to lição 2. Números, tempo e lugar. Ok? And we begin with a little grammar. Os artigos e os substantivos. Ok? So, articles and nouns. O substantivo em português. The noun in Portuguese. Masculino ou feminino. Singular ou plural. Ok? So, either or. Ok? Exemplos, examples. O livro. Masculino, singular. As casas. Feminino, plural. Ok? O plural do substantivo. How can we then have the plural of our nouns in Portuguese? If a noun finishes in vowel, then we just have to add S. Os livros. If a noun finishes in R, Z, then we have to add ES. Os celulares. Ok? Good. So, let's take a closer look to the articles and the nouns in Portuguese. Os artigos e os substantivos. Masculino singular. O livro, um livro. O livro, very specific. Um livro, general. Ok? So, in English, we would say the book, a book. Ok? Masculino plural. Os livros, uns livros. The same thing here. Os livros, very specific. Uns livros, general. Ok? Then we have feminino singular. A casa, uma casa. The same thing. Very specific, the house. And very general, uma casa. A house. Ok? And then feminino plural. As casas, umas casas. Ok? As casas, specific. Umas casas, in general. Ok? Just like that. Eight tiny words that are very important for our Portuguese language. So, please do learn them. And when you're done, we can start learning new words. Ok? And we begin by substantivos. Masculinos. Ok? O homem. O garoto. O país. O transporte. O banheiro, o dinheiro, o preço, o tempo, o trabalho, o número, o problema. Ok? If you pay attention, many masculine nouns, they have the ending O. O banheiro, o dinheiro, and so on. Ending A is... In many, many, many cases, feminine, ok? But o problema é, ends in A is masculine, ok? So, there are some special cases, ok? But o problema masculino, even though the ending A normally feminine is, ok? So, we're talking about feminine. Let's begin with os substantivos. A mulher, a garota... A família, a cidade, a rua, a praia, a casa, a coisa, a água, a língua, a palavra. Ok? So, as I warned you, Many, many uh, feminine nouns, they have the ending A, okay? But not all nouns with the ending A are feminine, as o problema, okay? So, please do make the exercises because uh, by doing them, you will understand everything better, okay? The exercises and you also have the flashcards that will help you improve your vocabulary skills, okay? So, let's begin with os números até... 10. Ok? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ok? And pay attention. 
um homem, dois homens, ok? Here, um, dois, is um, referring to a masculine noun. Uma mulher, duas mulheres, the number one and two, they are referring to feminine nouns, ok? So, by one and two, we have a feminine ending here, ok? Uma mulher, duas mulheres, but only one and two, that's the only case, ok? Good, so let's move forward with onze, doze, treze, quatorze, quinze, dezesseis, dezessete, dezoito, dezenove, vinte, ok? So, these numbers, they are irregular, you just need to know them, ok? Learn them and use them. But 16 is regular because we have 10 e 6. 10 and 6, 16. Okay? Good. So 16, 17, 18, 19. They are regular. Then we have 20, 22. Okay? We are going to write three words, 20 e 2. But when we talk, we talk quicker and we say 22. It sounds like one word, but actually there's three words, okay? And then the next numbers, just the same. 30, 33. 40, 44. 50, 55. 60, 66. 70, 77. 80, 88, 90, 99, 100. Okay? So the numbers, you see, they are very logical. Okay? So you just have to learn them and practice them, of course. Okay? And when you're done, we can start learning as expressões de tempo. Okay? And we'll start by taking a look at our pictures because it will help you okay understand what i mean and afterwards we're going to look at that translation okay then o dia amanhã a tarde a noite cedo tarde agora antes depois hoje ontem amanhã o dia, sete dias, a semana, quatro semanas, o mês, doze meses, o ano. Ok? So, let's see everything together. O tempo quando, when. Ontem, hoje, amanhã, cedo, tarde. Antes, agora, depois. O tempo quando? Amanhã, à tarde, à noite. O dia, a semana, o mês, o ano. Ok? So, you have a couple of exercises and, of course, the flashcards to learn the vocabulary. And to finish, as expressões de lugar. Just four of them, okay? O lugar, onde, where? Aqui, ali, lá, they are synonyms. Perto, longe. Aqui, perto, means real close to me, okay? E lá, longe, far, far away. From me. Okay? Well, that's everything that we are going to see in this lesson. I know it's a lot of information, but you have everything you need to work on it. Okay? So, muito obrigada. Thank you very much. E até logo.